This is a review for the Executioner from the Slasher Party, not the Slasher Party, Slasher Series on Netflix. I'm used to my bathroom because you can't hear me with that air conditioner in my ear. Anyway, so I liked the series. I saw it when it first came out on TV when it was airing and I loved it. It was great. It was scary. It had the, the jump factors in a lot of the season, like a lot of the episodes, and it was just like, this is a good creative horror movie or horror series. However, rewatching it now, it's probably the most boring of the three seasons that are on Netflix. And it's also jumpy. And I mean that in the sense of there's so much going on. Like there's the kidnapped girl storyline. There's the, and a lot of their, their storylines intertwine with the kidnapped girl. So it's like, was the executioner getting revenge for that? Was he getting revenge for something else? Why did he actually have an obsession with Sarah? Because if you think about it, she had nothing to do with the kidnapped girl. And in all actuality, it's just like sin repentant, repenting, like he's coming after you for your sins, but almost everyone's sins, except for the realtor, intertwine with um, the kidnapped girl. Except Sarah, like hers makes no sense. And then there's the storyline with Sarah's mom and when she was a teenager, was it, is her name Sarah? I just watched the fucking series. Yeah, I believe her name is Sarah. Anyway, the fuck is wrong with my brain? There's the whole kidnap, there's the whole series with her storyline with her mom when she was a teenager and she like tosses a brick or a cement block off a bridge and comatose is one of her friends like woman i felt like this season was very busy but also the boring the most boring out of the three seasons next up i'll review slasher party i'll review slasher guilty party but i have to rewatch it